I built a music school to 2,000 students and I had a bit of a secret weapon. I'm going to show it to you here today. Um, one of the things many people don't know is that I didn't have 2,000 students all coming to uh, this one building, right? I actually had a bit of a secret weapon and so I'm going to reveal that to you today and it's something you can consi uh, consider copying, right? There's not many people that have copied it. But those that have, have absolutely exploded um, their music schools. I'll tell you about a, a couple. Um, a, there's a guy, uh, Wes, in America, who's part of our BAM squad. He's he's done this. Uh, looks awesome. A guy, Michael, in California, has done it with um, his music school. Uh, another guy, Alistair, who's one of our BAM squad coaches, he has the fastest growing music school I've ever seen. He's gone from zero to about 12,000 students. Sorry, 1,200 students. <laughs> 12,000 would be amazing. He's done that in four years. Crazy. So he's on the BAM team. And uh, many other people have done this. But here is the secret. Instead of just having everyone coming to a building, what we did is we actually built these music buses. You can see some there. Um, we eventually built up to having five music buses. And now um, when I sold my school, they've bought a few extra buses. They've actually got a new info pack promoting their thing, which looks like this, which looks amazing. Got this cool cartoon uh, here. And so we actually, you know what's incredible, is we actually pre-sold these lessons and buses before we even owned a bus crazy right so we didn't even own a bus pre-sold the lessons which gave us enough confidence to then be able to go out and buy a bus and turn it into a mobile classroom how the heck did this idea come about well i'm going to explain everything to you but here's how it came about um there was a guy who used to sell fruit out of a caravan um, I knew that he, I knew someone who knew him and he was coming from about an hour away from his little orchard and then selling fruit on the side of the road in the weekend um, to people in our main city. He was selling it out of this caravan and I thought, well, if he can sell fruit out of a caravan, surely I can sell some drum lessons because I'm a drummer. And uh, then I started looking into caravans. Could I fit a drum kit in there? Could I put some electronic drums in? Could I put some practice pads and stands? The caravans were not really the right size. They were a bit tricky. Um, the ways that the wheels were lined within the, you know, the caravan, um, they they were also like a lot harder to drive and reverse and all that sort of stuff. So I thought, oh, actually, maybe that's not the idea. Then my friend got a house bus, and it was the same sort of bus as the ones I just showed you. And so I checked this out, and I saw I uh, saw the inside and thought, actually, this would work way better. And so the plans began to start building a music bus program. And so we pre-sold it to two or three schools, got it in, got it working really well. And then we're able to multiply it out school after school. And then when I sold my music school, we had about two thirds of our students coming in these music bus programs in schools during the day and then feeding into our, our building, our big building, where we had the other third of students coming in doing lessons, bands, some of our charitable work, all sorts of cool stuff. So it's probably about, when you hear me saying, hey, I built a school of 2,000 students, that would be amazing if it was all at one building. It's not. About two-thirds were uh, taking lessons still to this day, uh, and about 30, I think we had maybe 36, 37 schools that we were teaching in during the daytime. And then those buses are free to go to different communities and areas to park up if you want to do extra lessons. Uh, and then we've got the building where the other third of students are coming through the week as well. So building's still packed and busy and whatnot, but it's not everyone coming to the building. So I'm going to tell, talk to you a little bit about the this bus. So the reason that it took off and did so, so well was, number one, um, schools were often looking for lesson and music programs done really well and professional, but they didn't have a lot of space. They wouldn't have a spare classroom or a music music room in many cases, right? And I know, yes, there's private schools, there's public schools, there's Catholic schools, there's all sorts of different types of schools, and so you've got to figure out which are the ones you can get into and which ones are, there's too much red tape, or if there's red tape, and by that I mean kind of systems and rules and laws and boards and all that sort of stuff, those are just hurdles to figure out. And so I would figure them out to just, you know, then nail it. Because once you're in with one, you've got all the systems and you just roll it out to the next one. Where most people go, oh, it's tricky. Oh, I'll give up then. You don't want to be like that. So you're able to provide the space. Um, you solve that problem for a school. The next thing is that for the parent, a lot of people um, have 
you know, multiple kids, right? And this kid wants to do soccer. This one does dance. This one does baseball. This one does music. This one does a different instrument. And they're driving here, there, and everywhere. So if you actually take a music bus to a school, well, lessons can happen during the, the daytime, the lunchtime. And so the kid doesn't need to be driven somewhere after school. They can take lessons for, you know, a year, two, three, five years at the school, get really good, um, and then maybe move on to private lessons. And so it provide something really convenient for the parent. Next thing is the students absolutely love it because what could be flipping cooler than learning music lessons on a bus? And so we started with drum lessons, eventually we added piano lessons, then guitar, then ukulele, um, and then we did bands, and um, bands is super easy because once you've got all these students, you just basically whip up your band curriculum and then all the students want to be in bands. And so you don't even have to find new students. You just use all the existing ones that were having one lesson. Now they sign up for a band, they're having two lessons. So it's really awesome and self-propelling. Um, the next thing is uh, there's a mass benefit for the teachers. I was wanting to hire uh, lots of teachers to work for me on site um, at our studio, but you're often not able to give them enough work to actually be able to live off that income. Because if you can only give them, you know, two, three, five hours after school and maybe some Saturdays, sometimes that's not enough work for them to actually, you know, live off. So I needed more work during the day. And so if I could have someone go do, you know, teaching in schools and on a bus two, three days, then be able to teach privately it gave them a real interesting mix of a job and they loved it and so we had a real uh, edge above other music schools in the area and so the teachers got lots of work doing something that they love a few other amazing benefits happened as, as you can see um that old photo of those buses not even that fancy but we're on a budget they're all sign written and so you literally have a mobile billboard and you can't quite read it in here, but along the side, it was like, need awesome music lessons, dot, dot, dot. And then our website and our logos there. So these were driving in traffic. Now, if you wanted to uh, see, uh, you know, your, your own branding on a big public you know, school bus out there driving around. I did the research and it was like, that was going to cost you one to $2,000 a week uh, to have a branded bus. So we had all these buses um, and we didn't have to pay that. And so it was all this extra marketing. So it helps with your branding, getting it out there. Uh, what else was amazing? We could go drive it to little, um, you know, school open days to, you know, festivals to Christmas in the park type events, community uh, events and we could open up the bus, let people play instruments, crank music, um, hang out the front, do competitions, and it's all branded. Give out flyers, you know. Um, these are some um, some more modern flyers from my school, which I'm no longer running, but um, these look fantastic. So you can give this stuff out. People can, you know, enroll, sign a QR code, um, enter into competitions. Really smart. And so um, that was another great benefit. Now the next thing was that. Obviously, when I talk about the 2,000 students, you've got this big, wider base of beginner and intermediate students learning in all these, these buses and schools and communities. And then where does that feed to? Well, to your building. So, hey, you're at the right level now. You've progressed. Do you want to come to the building where you're going to get to do longer lessons, better lessons, more experiences, film cool videos, play in bands, do more concerts, all this amazing stuff we had waiting at our building. So it was just this constant feed into our lessons. And then we had people, um, because our school was going from about, uh, well, I started in 2009, and um, sold at the end of 2019, so I did 11 years, and before that I taught for, I don't know, probably another five to 10 years. And so there were people that started as music bus students, worked their way up to private lessons, doing multiple instruments, bands, and then they became intern teachers, so the junior teachers being paid to teach uh, some beginners in some programs we had, and then they went off and did music degrees, and then became professional teachers. So there was this whole massive journey of uh, you know, a handful of students that went through our whole kind of pipeline and are now off doing amazing things around the world. So it was pretty cool. And so when we would pitch this to a school, um, and you can grab this info pack, I'll put a link down below. Um, uh, I think it's in module five. Um, there's there's a couple of these examples and, and examples from other BAM squad members in our Build a Music School community that have done this as well. So here's 
here's an old pack, here's the new pack. Um, there's a few more in Module 5. You can check these out. But we would show the schools. This is really simple. Like I, would, I would do this 10 times better now. We'd say, hey, basically, we got these, we've got these buses, and we'll come and um, park them up at your school. We'll provide, and we'd show them everything we'd do. We'd say, we'll provide the teachers. We'll provide all the curriculum. And by the way, in our BAM Squad library, like, Everything is here for you if you want to come grab it. So all the curriculum across all different instruments, different levels, that's in there, plus gamification stuff. And we're saying, hey, we're going to provide the instruments. We'll do all the admin work. Uh, what do we got here? They'll, we'll give the students, you know, workbooks, certificates. We'll give them videos to help them learn at home between lessons and help the parents help them practice. Uh, all sorts of stuff. I'm not going to go through it all. And then we would have, hey, these are the schools we're working with, and um, and then basically pitch them and say, if you want to be, if you want to be part of it, you know, get in touch here. And we've even won some awards. Uh, what are these awards? Oh yeah, so um, local hero medal in the um, New Zealand of the Year competition. That was for our like um, charitable work. So we managed to figure out how to raise money so kids that couldn't afford lessons got it for free. Um, and now that's generated over a million dollars, I believe. And so that was pretty cool. We won a, a medal for that. And then a couple other awards, uh, Young Business Person of the Year, and this is like a, a community-wide one for the arts and culture and stuff like that. So that that was our, our music bus program. It's pretty crazy. Everything's in here, everything that we built, um, not just to build the music bus program, but literally to build a 2000 student music school generated, I don't know, millions and millions and millions of dollars. Uh, everything that we've learned, everything that we've built, we've put into the BAM Squad library. And that's why we've kind of grown to the best program in the world, um, because we literally give you everything. It's so cheap and affordable based on what you're getting. And uh, there's nothing like it in the world. So come check it out. I'll put a link down below. Grab it for free. Think about whether you might want to do a music school uh, bus type program. Give it a cool name yourself. Um, there's lots of logistics to figure out, and I'll talk to you about that in other videos and things inside our library. Um, but there's lots of people that have done it, and they've just had the guts to start and figure it out and invest a little bit of money, make it work, and you don't need a whole lot of money. You can pre-sell it like I did, even if you've got no money, and it could absolutely explode you could be like the next Alistair who's done it and gone from zero to twelve hundred in four years which is like twice as fast as it took me to get to a thousand crazy hope you've enjoyed this any questions comments let me know down below but grab that link come have a free trial grab any resource that you thought might be helpful for you in your journey today